welcome to Cabinet Kids TV. We are so glad that you're here with us today. We're gonna hear a crazy story today, but first we're gonna worship together. So let's all stand up and we're gonna sing some songs to our God.
dirt of my feet I will not fear, I will not be shaken You hold everything No, I will not fear, I will not be shaken Treasured by the one who loves me let's go, let's go. It's me, Miss Michelle, and today I have a crazy Bible story for you. You know, if you ever thought that the Bible was boring, you have not read enough. There are so many amazing stories in this book, and the craziest part is they are all true. They really happened. So today we're going to hear a story. It's from the book of Acts, which is all about all the things that happened to the church after Jesus died and came back to life. And we're going to hear a story of something that happened to Paul. Now you remember, Paul was one of the greatest missionaries that there ever was. God made Paul bold and he always told everyone he could about God's great love. Well, one day, Paul and his friends were praying and fasting. And fasting, that's where you don't eat for a while so that you can concentrate on praying. So they're praying and fasting. And the Holy Spirit told Paul and his friend Barnabas, that was his friend's name, he told them to go, that he had a mission for them. So they listened and they obeyed and they went. And they traveled over to an island until they found the governor there. And the governor wanted to hear about Jesus. But before they got to him, they were stopped by an evil man. And this man was very tricky. He lied to people and a lot of people believed his lies, but not Paul or Barnabas. When they got to this tricky, evil man, the Holy Spirit filled them with understanding. And Paul looked straight at that man and he said, you are a child of the devil. You are an enemy of everything that is right. You cheat people. You use all kinds of tricks. Won't you ever stop twisting the right ways of the Lord? Now the Lord's hand is against you and you are going to go blind. And for a while, you won't even be able to see the light of the sun. And then guys, do you know what happened? The tricky man went blind. He couldn't see anything and he even had to have people help lead him away because he was so blind. Well, when the governor saw that, he believed right away in Jesus. He knew that Paul and Barnabas were telling the truth. And see kids, when God is on our side, we can do anything. Now we are gonna hear about some people from Covenant who are doing amazing things with the help of that same Holy Spirit.
Hey kids, I'm Jeremy. I work on our outreach team uh, doing international work. And international work means going to other countries. And that's what we do at Covenant. Go to different countries around the world to spread the gospel. One of the countries that we're connected to is Lebanon. Lebanon is in the Middle East, and we are connected there uh, because of the refugee crisis. Now, maybe you've not heard that word before, refugee, or don't know what it is, but a refugee is somebody that is leaving their country. They're fleeing their country. They're running away because there's no food, because there's war, or because there's a lot of like political problems. And can you imagine if that happened to you? If all of a sudden war broke out, you had to flee and leave with just your backpacks and run away? That's what happens in these countries. And in Lebanon, all these Syrian refugees, all these families from Syria came to Lebanon. And there's all these kids that don't know Jesus. And then they're in a country and they are lost and hopeless and they're not allowed to go to school. And so we met a man who started a school. Uh, he started a school in Tyre. Uh, Tyre is a city in the south part of Lebanon. And all these refugees were coming in there and all these kids need a school to, to go to. So he started the school and they come and they learn uh, together instead of not going to a school. And he wanted to see them educated and come to know Jesus Christ. So in this school, all of these kids are Muslims. What's a Muslim? It's a different religion than Christianity. And those Muslims don't really know who Jesus is. But in this school, they're able to meet Jesus. They're able to study the Bible. They're able to sing songs about Jesus and even come to know him and study him and learn about him. So it's this awesome opportunity where these kids get to come to know Jesus Christ and then the parents do, and then the parents come into church. So it's an awesome opportunity to be able to reach people who have come from another country, from Syria into Lebanon. So when you think of Lebanon, here's what I'd love you to do. Just pray for kids. Pray for those kids that have been fleeing Syria, that have landed in Lebanon, that have to start a brand new life, Pray for them to come to know Jesus, to be able to have an education, and pray for them as they got to make a new home in this new country. So won't you do that, kids? Hey, Covenant kids. It is time to do our memory verse. It is from Galatians 6.10, and I'll read it first. So, when we can do good to everyone, let us do it. Let's try even harder to do good to the family of believers. Galatians 6, 10. Now let's read it together. Repeat after me. So, when we can do good to everyone, let us do it. Let's try even harder to do good to the family of believers. Great job, guys. You'll get it in no time. Guys, isn't it crazy that the Holy Spirit gave Paul and Barnabas visions and told them exactly what to do. You know, the Holy Spirit can talk to us too. He talks to you guys. So you just have to learn how to listen. Now today you have watched, you've listened, and you've learned. So go change your world.